Congress could not pass a bill to fund the government, and so a large portion of the government shutdown on Tuesday left over 800,000 government employees furloughed. Employees who are still working and deemed to provide essential services include air traffic control, emergency medical service, the border patrol, federal prisons, disaster assistance, people running the power grid, and members of Congress. When they're trying to decide who's essential and not essential, I'm saying send all the senators and the representatives yeah, home. They're not essential. We don't need them. They're not working, are they? I think it's a bunch of malarkey. I think people need to get their stuff together and keep moving forward so this type of stuff doesn't happen to the ordinary person. Also, the Social Security offices will remain open with limited staff and checks will still be mailed out. National parks are also closed, which includes locally the Gulf Islands National Seashore. At Eglin, the Airmen and Family Readiness Center was open with limited capabilities on Tuesday. Military personnel functions such as issuing identification cards would continue. The base education office was closed, as well as the base pool. The Army and Air Force exchange was open. At Hurlburt Field, the Airmen and Family Readiness Center was closed. The Aquatic Center also closed. Education office was closed, but individual school offices, formal training, and volunteer off-duty testing remained open. The Family Child Care Office was also closed. Library closed. The commissary was closed as of 7 p.m. on Tuesday.